Hi everybody, my name is Emma and I'm the marketing manager at Volante Design and here I'm going to talk you through a video of Willow Volante, our CEO, demonstrating the operator system. Coming soon to Kickstarter. First Willow has put on the strap, which can be worn as you see here, like a belt. The strap has a smaller piece attached to it with pivot buckles. You remove those by pressing down the button and you pull that small piece out and you can use that here with the cash bag. As you can see, Willow is threading the smaller piece of the strap through the back of the cash bag, and then she's able to just click it into place into the pivot buckles. This can be worn at your belt, like a small belt bag, or you can lengthen the strap like Willow is doing here, and then you can wear it as a crossbody bag or a sling bag if you tighten it enough. Wear it to your side, shift it around to your back. You can wear it high up and tight in the front, whatever works for you. Now Willow is removing the smaller strap from the cash bag and then removing it from the strap itself. She's going to put the strap back to her waist in the belt position, tighten it back up to get the fit she wants. And now we're on to the second configuration. And this uses the pivot bag. The pivot bag is a small bag that can be worn here as a thigh holster bag. It's the perfect size for Nintendo Switch, small notebook, tablet, whatever your daily essentials are. And then you attach a thigh strap to keep it close to your body. This is ideal when you're navigating through busy crowds like conventions. As you can see, Willow is free to move. She's hands-free and the pivot bag has a slim profile so it doesn't take up too much space or stick out from her body too much. Now, just like with the cash bag, you can again loosen the strap in this position and move it over for kind of a crossbody look. But the thigh strap's still on to kind of give you an extra anchoring point so it doesn't swing around. Or you can remove the thigh strap like Willow is doing now and wear it as more of a traditional crossbody bag and just adjust the strap to the length that you want. Now that we've shown you the attachment methods using the strap, we're going to switch to the other attachment method, which is the frame. The frame is a harness that can be used with multiple bags. This will help distribute the weight evenly on your upper back, and it's again hands-free, which we love. The first configuration involves attaching the two stealth bags to the side clips of the frame. This allows you to have kind of a harness with two side bags look. It's really slim, really low profile, and is great for keeping just your most daily essentials close to you in a spot that people can't easily get to. This is also great to wear under a larger coat so you can really be incognito and have your essentials protected and snug under your coat. You can adjust the length of the straps here so the stealth bags can hang as low or as high up as you want them to. Next, Willow is going to add the pivot bag on top of what's already happening on the frame. Those same pivot buckles will clip onto the top part of the frame and then the bottom uh, has hooks that can clip onto the same hooks that are attached to the stealth bags. You can put something you need to reach faster, like your phone or your keys, in the stealth bags and then have your essentials that you don't need to access as frequently in the pivot bag on your back. When you don't want the stealth bags anymore, simply unclip them and just make sure that both clips are attached to the pivot bag itself. Pop that bad boy on for my personal favorite configuration, the pivot bag and the frame worn as a mini backpack. I really like this because I think it looks modern and sleek and it's just the right size to carry the things I need every day and it's nowhere near as annoying as a purse. When you wanna move on to something bigger, remove the pivot bag completely from the frame. Now we're getting to the big bag. This is the operator bag and it has the same pivot buckles as the other bags, so you can attach it to the top of the frame to wear it as a backpack. After you've attached the top buckles, clip the straps to the rings at the bottom of the operator bag. And yes, that is my cat Suki. She just said to photobomb this part of our video shoot. As you can see, the operator bag and frame gives you kind of a traditional backpack feel with a volante twist, like always. Adjust the straps if you like to wear your backpack high up on your back. Lengthen them if you prefer to wear it low rider style. You can also layer the operator bag with other bags. We've got two straps at the bottom of the operator bag and you can use one or both of them to attach a cash bag. 
just like you did with the strap to wear it at the belt. You thread that piece through the opening on the back of the cash bag and then buckle it to have a smaller bag that's easily accessible on the outside of the operator bag. Want even more storage? Yes, you can attach the pivot bag on top of the operator bag. We've got those buckles there, so again, you can strap it into place. And then there is a loop on the bottom backside of the pivot bag that you can thread one of the straps on the outside of the operator bag through. This keeps it close to the operator bag. This configuration is really great if you're traveling. You can have everything you need for your trip packed in the operator bag, and then have your ready-to-go essentials in the pivot bag and the cash bag. When you land at your Airbnb, your hotel, whatever your destination is, you can separate out the smaller bags, grab them, attach them in a different configuration, like to the strap, and head out the door. The last piece is a chest strap that can attach to the frame. You can add this to any configuration using the frame if you want some extra support, or if you just like the look of a chest strap. Thanks for checking out the operator system with us. We're really excited to be bringing this to Kickstarter in April, and we hope you'll follow along to learn more and hopefully back our project. Stay badass.